I'm with Damien, uh, Chief of Gains on Instagram. We're gonna tag him. He's a bodybuilder and reptile enthusiast. Yep. We're gonna be getting some extra isopods from him to add to the startup of our uh, uh, bio colony. And honestly, this wouldn't be possible if not for Dave. I truly did not think I'd be having a bucket of isopods, but Dave, as you know, Dave Skink, gave, gave me a skink. And I went 100%. I was like, okay, I need to learn more about it. I want to, I was hitting up Dave left and right about ecosystem, wanted a bioactive. And then eventually you realize isopods are expensive. <laughs> and so you buy a colony and it turns into, turns into this. But it's perfect because what goes around comes around. So I'm excited to let Dave have his pick of whatever type of isopods he can find in there. That's part of the process. We got some, uh, some powdered blues, some powdered oranges, right? Yup. What else yeah. do we have? There, there's, is that it? No, there's. I forgot one type. It's uh, these guys gonna look at me and be like, "Oh man, he doesn't know the scientific name of those isopods." <laughs> They're like the roly poly type. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got powdered blues, powdered oranges in there. I used to have a separate calm colony. I went on a trip and stuff happened. Let's. It's what it is. But <laughs> it should go. It should go well with my tank that already attracts springtails. Yeah. And so we're gonna start the process to going more bioactive. And, uh, well, I'm really appreciative of your oh, friendship yeah. and your bugs. Yeah, no worries, man. I'll oh, see you on right now. Get in there. It's gonna be a long process. <laughs> I can already tell. I'm trying to see if I can find any adults. They're probably gonna be towards the bottom. Because the bottom's where a lot of the moisture will be in these guys. At least my powders. Now the leaf litter, do you order that from a particular place or do you just no, you go can, outside and rummage? No, don't, don't. If you're gonna go outside and rummage, you're gonna have to definitely heat, um, bake the leaves. Okay. Because you don't wanna bring in um, outside bacteria, parasites, etc. I recommend, me personally, I didn't rummage for leaf litter. Um, I went online. You can check uh, Amazon. You should be able to get like a one gallon bag or more, like even two gallons for like 10 bucks. Okay. You might even get it cheaper if you're depending on the site you order. I just like Amazon because it's convenient. Yeah. So <laughs> they take all my money. <laughs> uh, Opie's up. Yeah, look at Opie. Oh, I used to have an Amazon problem, man. I lived. Oh man, it was so bad. Was it? Dude, I am trying to. Oh, there you guys are. Yeah. Will the, the oranges and the blues breed with each nope. other? Nope, Never. nope, 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 nope. You would think. You would hope. Yeah, get some purples or something. There it is. Look at it. Oh. No, it's on you still. <laughs> Did I get off? I don't know. Um, I can't tell. Oh, yeah, they're so tiny. Oh, there you are. Let me see. Okay, so super small. I don't know if you can see it. You see oh, it? Oh, wow. Look at that. See it right there? Yes. Yeah, but the adults, a lot of my adults are actually in that enclosure. How is it How's it like handling a, a ball python? Well, it's certainly different than a skink. We don't have any claws, which is nice. Yeah, and even if it strikes you, it's not gonna feel, it's not gonna feel as bad, honestly. It's the fear that gets you, it's not the pain. <laughs> you can ask my wife, she got struck by our, uh, one of our snakes, Pompeii. Pompey's a baby rainbow boa. Pom Pompey and Ken Ken. And oh, you guys and tiramisu struck you. No, it's tiramisu. Oh, so it's just tiramisu. It wasn't it wasn't Ken Ken. Ken Ken's. What is going on in this house? <laughs> Animals striking their human their overseers. <laughs> no, man, I'm telling you right now, rainbow boas when they're babies are just freaking jackasses. <laughs> oh my, for no reason. Like the worst part is that they don't strike you when you do a crazy movement. It's when you feel like you know. Oh, I can trust him. Yeah. <laughs> I can let my guard down just a little. See, I'd like... Oh, no, 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 that's not even... The strikes don't hurt, but it's, it gets you every time. You flinch. It's the fear of the strike. Gee, these guys are burrowed deep. I think I've gotten, like, four and seen, like, 15. Oh, there you are. That's an adult. <laughs> we have a little one on the... Uh... Right there. See it? See that guy? Mm-hmm. Oh, no. <laughs> Mistake. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Dave Opie looks a little different. 
And what kind of snake is this? Uh, that's actually a rat, rat snake. snake. This is a rat snake. What's kind of cool is uh, this is a I, big I, rat snake. I wanted a bull snake, and then I noticed people always say, um, I want a bull snake. My friends like, hey, I have a rat snake. It looks just as cool and just as angry. And it's true. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you wanted, a pet. No, if you look at look look at his eyes. It looks like it's angry the whole time. Oh yeah, it's Let's go good, on. good control. Yeah. Man. Most she people like strong. tweak. <laughs> good control. Most people would be like, oh, oh and then once it's wrapped, yeah, just give up. Just throw the put the whole chair in the enclosure. <laughs> Yo, I'm, uh, I'm finding so many isopods, and it's a good variety. I got some, found more powders. Nice roly-poly style ones right here. So this is a total of 10, but I mean, if you're trying to go by active, you do want closer to at least 100. But the but, 10 will... No, the 10 will reproduce, reproduce. assuming they're, they're different genders and same species. So I'm trying to give him like 10 of each. I want to give him 10 powders, and then 10... Um, there's uh, somebody crawling on the surface. Oh, wow, that's a powder. <laughs> Why? Like, no, see, it's Why like, is... It's, see, it's a snake. I see what you mean when you say I need two animals. Yeah, you're <laughs> like, oh, yeah, I can do one. That's, that's a six. That snake is and six And protecting foot. another snake on the arm. Right. That's six foot, man. That snake is as tall as me. Think about that. That's crazy. But also, I want to say this, though. When people hear a six foot snake, they get so scared, but that can't eat you. A six foot snake cannot eat, look at that. If, if Imagine. You, if you manage to get eaten by that, you deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> you deserve it. You probably have a Guinness Book of World Record for like smallest person, but. Dingo ate my baby. A dingo, you say, I meant rat snake. <laughs> like, can, can you imagine? Because I'm not gonna lie though, before I had a snake, when someone says six foot, I was like, no, that's ridiculous. But now I'm looking at the, by the way, the white snake was uh, four feet. Okay. Yeah, four to five feet. I think about a little over four. But it didn't feel like that. Well, that one was a ball. So yeah. It lived up to that name. A ball python. Probably one of the best beginner snakes you can get. And for a rat snake, I'm not going to lie. Most rat snakes are pretty, in my opinion, pretty chill. The ones I've interacted with. Are they like part aquatic? Uh, no, I wish. I wish. But it's like those aquatic snakes need so much space though. And I don't want to, you know, you don't want to. You're the same way as me. You don't want to kind of put them in a cramp. Yeah, I don't want to give, be minimalistic. Yeah, <laughs> can you imagine? This is my minimalistic setup. It's a cardboard box with one twig. <laughs> Yo, I thought, this, I thought the snake was pissing. It's my dog. <laughs> <laughs> I will say it's good to know that these isopods are doing really well. You said you haven't checked on them in like a while? A long do you time. do you just throw like an orange in there every once in a while, or are they no? Self, like there's um they just eat what's in the dirt. There's a bunch of leaf litter, a bunch of biodegradables. Um, there was shit in here. Snake <laughs> <shit>. Yeah, <laughs> not too much. You got to be smart about how you create these. <laughs> and so, but if even touching all this salt, this feels look how soft that is. See yeah, that? You're literally creating dirt. Like this is. This is nice. This this, this could fertilize my plants. Maybe it could have saved my fig tree. I had a really nice fig tree for about a year and a half, but it was attracting like all these gnats and all these little bugs just like flying around the base. Where'd you get it from? I got, from, a, I got it from some harbor store. I don't remember which oh, one. Oh man, Home Depot. I'm not trying to say no to a sponsorship. See, I love they shopping could, at Home Depot. Man, Home Depot at their everyday low prices. <laughs> <laughs> But real talk, a lot of their plants give your house snacks. I'm not gonna really? No, that's yeah. actually oh, facts. I was Home Depot. I'm brand loyal. Man, you don't understand. Like, the amount of gnats. And an easy solution is to get a gnat trap when you buy your plant. But if you're not expecting it, oh my God. Me and my wife bought like three plants from Home Depot and we were fighting a war. It was like a bug's life, except without the humor. That, they, they have good succulents. I think their indoor oh, plants are good. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You want to say the best Home Depot for anyone in the Chicago area? And this is my mess up the prices. So if you go to the Home Depot, um, like Tinley Park or... Is it Orland or T Tinley Orland? It, I don't remember. Or, like remember Orland Orland? Tinley Orland. Tinley Orland Park. Um, the one. Homewood. Their, their prices on plants, ridiculous. Like, you don't... Man, when I say... And the quality. Like, I'm talking... These are good. Suya's <laughs> really Suya's, trying Suya's. it. 
got her. Dave looks like he's starting to crunch. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, look at them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Look, look, look at what this hand oh, wow. Look. There's a bunch of them There's in there. One, two, three, four, five, six. That was a good handful, right? I always check under these. And what's crazy is, this, so if you don't see them, you can tell like these ones, I was breeding more so for the skin. Can you tell by the top, top soil? It's a little drier, I noticed that. And yeah. you have more cover. You have a living plant, I can believe that. that yo, no so life. that plant has been in there. This has been completely covered and that plant has been thriving. Thriving. Granted, Better like than the ones we've been maintaining. <laughs> Like, indoor that, with light you know, and water you no know. if you guys say like oh man he's not the, the plants are alive in a closed bin uh, oh snap did it actually so i i also put a worm in there oh no way wait where is the worm no way is that it oh they killed it oh yeah. <gasps> let's keep it moving <laughs> I named it uh, suya. So suya is actually um, a dish <laughs> back home in Nigeria. It's like a a meat dish on a, like a kebab. It's like a spicy, like a spicy super spicy, seasoned, hyper seasoned, thin, thin sliced. And they serve it to you on a newspaper. And with onions. If they're not served on a newspaper, don't don't eat it. The newspaper. I don't know. I don't know what the. I don't know what the. Yeah, zinc. That recycled paper. <laughs> it makes the dish. Mm. Tastes like history. <laughs> These are dwarf whites. Okay. Super small. Super effective dwarf whites. Pathetic. If we only have so one, tiny. I don't want to take it from you. Oh God, no! There's like five. A there's like a lot of them. Thousands in there. Just so, so hard. tiny. Just so hard to find. But if I just. Put my hand all the way to the bottom. Grab the handful and throw it in here. You probably have like 50 dwarf whites. See, I wanted a male bearded. Echo's a female. That shit hurts. Because the male one. Echo is a female? Yeah, the male one sent to give me give those cool head bobs. Oh, the females don't do that at all? No, some females. I've seen some females okay. head bob, but it's like the females tend to do that, um, that uh, submissive bearded hand gesture. It's so weird. Oh, the wave? the wave? The wave? I don't want waves. I want the bob. That's just hilarious. But, <laughs> but it's all good. I'm not going to be like, oh, man, that's a... Oh, that's a spring tail. <laughs> I'm not going to be like, oh, well... Toss you in the Yeah, they actually... A lot of them migrated all the way to the bottom. The plant is telling me everything I need to know about. I'm just not trying to move that plant. Yeah. They're yeah. all under there. You know, but look at that. Look, look, this is the work of them. This soil was... Look, look how... It literally... So what, what do you start? What's the base for your soil? My soil? Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to lie. It depends. Um, what was it? I think I have the recipe. <laughs> I, <laughs> Secret recipe. <laughs> like, for Echo, Echo is um, sand mixed with... What is it? This... The sand is so key to no, keep the humidity. You, you, oh, man. For just, me, a, just a if, little bit. It makes I, such a difference. If I don't put sand in there, when I try to, what else I'm going to jump in? Choir. Cocoa Choir. choir. Then sand. And then I put, I used, um, what did I use? Because I needed to keep, oh, I used all natural soil. All natural. Okay. Or, I, that's organic, what I got. Yeah. Organic. So sand was a Cocoa Choir. But Cocoa Choir is not actually good for plants. Well, if you... If you want to put plants in, if you don't, it doesn't matter. And then I put all, uh, organic soil. I think that was my mix. And then I just added enough sand for to one like kind of. Yeah. Because to prevent compaction. Man, I forget all the terms. For reptiles, you don't really know the risk of. Impaction. Yep. Ah, oh, there it is. Impaction. That's what I was trying to say. I said compaction. compaction. <laughs> I was like, I was like, as soon as I said, I was like, that's compact. I'm like, that can't be. That can't be. <laughs> Don't trust him. He said compaction. I trust him. I bet those high spots are fake. But yeah, no. The sand for me really did help with all. Well, well, well look it up. You see that? Oh, look. Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. That's, that's the roly poly one. That's a fat bag. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big one. 
I won't probably eat the rest. <laughs> that's, my, that's a powder blue. That one has a job. That one has a job. Degree. Degree. <laughs> that one's going places, I tell you. <laughs> I tell you right. Manages the bus route. That one's feeling the inflation rates. <laughs> and how long do they take to get an adult size? I'm not going to lie. I can't tell you how long. <laughs> That's okay. There's so many of them. <laughs> but adult, honestly, I'd say, well, you call me, for me, it took about two months before I started noticing any real change. Okay. Which sounds like a lot of time, but when your reptiles are healthy, it flies by. Yeah. Like, I remember when... I think were you there when you saw Echo super small? Echo was like this. I got Echo this big. I was scared of just losing Echo. Now, Echo scared of losing me. I'm trying to <laughs> <laughs> but no, they'll they'll grow fairly quickly. The only thing that can slow it down is, I mean, I'm gonna give you some isopod food. It turns out it's just peas. These guys got my ass, but it's so <laughs> <laughs> you can just buy peas oh, anywhere. Dry peas. <laughs> but. You can buy some ice pot food. It does help. You can add a little bit of water to it. You can also um, just toss in some, if you just type in what do ice pots eat, but mo most of the time, I mean, I'm gonna toss this in. This I found more helpful for the springtails, it seems. Like, Echo's on the hunt. Oh, look at it. So Echo has good vision. I constantly question the wow. vision of the you know, they say that, they, they say that They say that bearded dragons have bad depth perception. But then every time you see that, you see Echo acting like that, and you're like... Blue tongues will walk right over their food twice. Oh wow. my god, I thought it was me. I was like, what am I doing wrong? Legs are short. <laughs> They're slow. They're so. Oh my They're goodness. Hungry. You might as well let Echo in. Shit, Echo might find it for us. We really? Just, we just have to intercept Echo's meal time. Wow, wow, wow. So you just wanted to block... Do your thing, girl. Wait, no, Echo can't eat this plant. That's a no. That plant's not good for reptiles, especially bearded dragons. Pothos apparently is like slightly is like poisonous. Poison. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at that humidity at the bottom. That's where they're going to be. All right, so we just returned home with some of the isopods. Let's get them in Gladys's tank. Exciting. 